Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inverted fishtail. Um, this is what it should look like when you're finished. It's maybe you don't want these colours, but look something like this. I also have another one in white. Like this. So, let's get started. I'm only going to be using two colours, and that is black and pink, but you can use as many colours as you want, as you can see in my last ones. So, um, this is a really, really easy f thing to make, and it's about like the fish seal, but um, a bit different. <laughs> so, let's start. Now, this is for your fingers, so the first thing you'll do is have two fingers like this. Then you're going to take your first colour, and mine is black, and you're going to do a figure of eight and put it on your fingers. So it's a figure of eight. Next, you're going to take your next colour for mine, that is pink. Put that on normal. Then take your next colour, which is going to be black again, because that is my colours. Okay, so the first thing when you're doing an inverted is you do a normal, if you start with a normal fishtail, so you bring the bottom one up, and the bottom one up. So then just move down your bands. So this is what it should look like just now. But we need another one. So you should always have three on your fingers, um, like this. So to make it inverted, which is now, you take the middle one, take it down, and take the new one up. Take the middle one, take it down, take the new one up. Like this. So I'm going to show you one more time. You should have three bands. You take the middle one down, and up, middle one down, and take this one up. One more time just to make sure everyone has it. Take the middle one down, and this one up, middle one down, and up. So as you can see, I have went on a bit, but not too much. Um, so this is what it should start to look like once you've done about... Oh, my fingers are shaking. One sec. <laughs> this is what it should start to look like after about um, a quarter. Um, it should look like this at first. But um, if I get this one, once you've made it, you will stretch it out and it will come bigger. They're really, really pretty, and um, they're really nice. Okay, so I'm now done, and it should look something like this. Uh, wait, 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 there. And then, what you should do is you should stretch out as far as you can, if it doesn't look like that. And then when you go back, it should look a bit like that. So now, when you're done, you're going to want to put on a C-clip, or an S-clip, or whatever you're using, or a clip I don't even know what other clips are. But, the best thing to do... To grab it with your two fingers like this, take the S clip and pinch it. Oop. Oh. 
Alright, and then switch over. And punch it on. So you're, oh, what the heck? The thing with mine is that the S clips are really, really big. So what you need to do is pinch it on. But at the same time, you need to double up. So twist it, and then you need to pinch it on again. This is really uh, tricky. There we go. So it's doubled, and uh, it still fits fine. So I'm just going to put on my little band. So, oh, this is all twisted, one sec. So this is what your band should look like. And it's called an inverted fish tail. So, um, Thank you so much, so much for watching. Maybe you could do one like this, or maybe one like this. I don't know. Your inspiration. But, um, thank you for watching this video. Today we made the inverted loan band. And I want you guys to like if you want me to do more. Because I'll do more. If you guys ask me. So, thank you so much for watching, um, I had fun making this, and hopefully you'll have fun making it yourselves, so, bye guys!